my lord, my lord, I have been so frightened. My lord, as I was sewing in my closet, Lord Hamlet, with his doublet all embraced, no hat upon his head, his stockings fouled, ungartered and down jived to his ankle, pale as his shirt, his knees knocking each other, and with a look so piteous in purport, as if he had been lucid out of hell to speak of horrors, he comes before me. He took me by the wrist and held me hard. Then goes he to the length of all his arm, and with his other hand thus o'er his brow, he falls to such perusal of my face as if he were to draw it. Long stayed he so. At last, a little shaking of mine arm and thrice his head thus waving up and down. He raised a sigh so piteous and profound as if it seemed to shatter all his bulk and end his being. This done, he lets me go. And with his head over his shoulder turned, he seemed to find his way without his eyes. For out of doors he went without their help. And to the last, bended their light on me.